Sonoma Pharmaceutical Inc. S N O A and Ensize Biosciences Inc. E N S C. Did Sonoma lose some trade or momentum to Ensize? Well, what is certain is that at some point during this session of the nineteenth of August, uh, especially at, uh, as exactly at nine fifty two. AM Eastern US time, Sonoma started to lose some value. And a few minutes later, ENSC and Sires started to gain as well. So they may, there might be some uh, truth uh, to that speculation, but it doesn't really matter. What is certain is that uh, Sonoma is currently up 82.8% in this session of the 19th of August. It is showing strength within a longer term bearish trend. It's my D is above the signal line and it is 25.4% above a declining 200 day moving average. This implies that caution is still warranted. Momentum is strongly bullish or improving at the moment. The 14 period slow stochastic escalator is uh, bullish or rather improving as well. The unbalanced volume indicator tracking the volume is also strongly bullish, implying that uh, buyers are presently more active than sellers. So the news is that it launched two dental products. So moving on to end size, let's see what we're gonna get from end size. Yeah, let's see, let's see. So end size, we are not been, we we are trying to get uh, what's going on there. It's it's going to host a symposium with uh, Dr. Jeffrey Godin at the Pain Week twenty twenty. On September 9th, 2021, it is currently rallying within a longer term bearish trend. It's I'm driving its MACD above the signal line, but uh, ENSC stock is trading below a declining 200 day moving average. Um, moving average signifying that the dominant trend remains lower. So let's see whether we can. Get the chart for N size ENSC. So it's currently up 38.79% in this session of the 19th of August 2021. So just be careful with these two stocks, especially um, Sonoma. It has run up a huge amount of extension. Um, the their uh, their the long term trends are still very much bearish. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.